When you look at a phone like this, with a giant screen and these little tiny bezels, you may think that it's some kind of a dummy or an engineering prototype or a thought about what phones could be in the future. But this is a real phone right now. It's called the Essential Phone. It's made by a company called Essential. Now you probably haven't heard of them before, but there's one reason you should care. It's led by Andy Rubin. Yes, that Andy Rubin that's one of the creators of Android, and he's taking on the high-end phone market with the $699 Essential Phone. Let's go take a look at this brand new device. So as you'd expect with a name like Essential Phone, this is all about giving you the essentials of a high-end device with no extra features or styling or design cues that are just there to stand out but not necessarily enhance your experience of the phone. And you can tell that right away when you pick it up because this is all about the ceramic back and a full titanium frame which immediately differentiated itself from the aluminum frame and the glass back that you find on most other phones. But you see the design is extremely simple. When you think of like a monolithic or stealthy device, especially in a black color like this, this is what you get. It has absolutely no extra ports that it doesn't need, no extra buttons, no curves. It's perfectly flat on all sides except for the necessary roundness to move around to the front. And that's where the main attraction is. It's this huge 5.7 inch Quad HD display that absolutely goes from edge to edge. Now, when you look at a screen like this, you think that it's like a dummy display or this isn't a real phone, but this is the real deal. And you can see just how small it is because they have to put the front-facing camera in this little dip at the top of the display. When you compare it to something like the LG G6, which is known for having pretty small bezels, the LG G6 just, it, it looks gigantic. It's, it's extremely different. Even the Galaxy S8, which of course has to curve its display to try to get the bezels that small, doesn't quite hold up against something like the Essential Phone. And the interesting thing about this whole display is that it doesn't get in the way of you using your phone like a regular phone. You can swipe down from the top and it just comes down and wraps around that little front facing camera. You open up something like Chrome and yes, it gives you a little bit taller status bar at the top, but it doesn't get in your way. But aside from that, there are no real changes to the software here. It's actually quite surprising how close to very stock this phone is. It's Android 7.1, of course, but the only thing that's actually been tweaked is the camera software. Everything else is exactly how it would be on any perfectly stock Android phone. From the settings, the quick settings, this is the stock launcher that's here. It's just like a Pixel launcher. And Essential is saying that this has the fewest preloaded apps of any device that you can get. If it's not essential to the phones working out of the box or required by Google, it's not pre-installed here. But the interesting part about it is that this is still a high-end phone, even though it doesn't feel like it from the terms of having all of these extra features and little bits of hardware. It has a Snapdragon 835 inside, four gigabytes of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of storage. But two things are missing here that most people would consider essential. It doesn't have a headphone jack on the bottom, nor does it have waterproofing, even though there are very few points of ingress on this device. But aside from that, there is one big feature of the Essential Phone that is really kind of the standout and selling point of this thing, and that's these two little pins right here. They're little pogo pins that can send and receive power, and it's designed to let you augment the experience of the Essential Phone, not unlike Moto Mods on a Moto Z device. The difference here is that you don't have to cover the entire back of the phone to augment it. Essential is showing off a 360 degree camera that's about this big and just clips onto the back with magnets. And it can transfer data wirelessly to the phone and just receive power there. 
There's also a desktop dock and you know ideas for a lot of different things, but the Essential Phone is meant to be augmented down the road with additional things so you don't have to just stick with this device or this form factor. Now we haven't spent a whole bunch of time with the Essential Phone, but it's one of the most interesting hardware experiences that we've seen in a long time. Samsung really blew us away with the Galaxy S8 and it looks amazing, but we can tell that this is the future of what phones can look like with extremely small bezels. So that was your first look at the brand new Essential Phone. It's a phone that I'm super excited about, not just on its own, but what hardware like this means for the rest of the industry going forward. If you wanna learn more about the Essential Phone, be sure to subscribe to us right here on YouTube and read all about it over on androidcentral.com. Thanks for watching.